on, on our podcast here, we talk about integrity, kind of mm-hmm. integrity being everything, uh, whether that's integrity in, in what we're trying to impart in our work, mm-hmm. whether it's the integrity in the people that work for us. Maybe walk, walk me through an example in your career where you've seen integrity either be a positive mm-hmm. or you've seen someone cut corners and integrity be um, <laughs> uh, skirted past and, and what yeah. the net impact No, was. absolutely. It's a great question. And uh, I talk to my little my boys about integrity a lot, and we, we kind of define it as it's what you do when no one's watching, right? It's the moral compass of what we do, and uh, it's the idea of leaving things better than you found it, right? That's that's kind of where I land when it comes to integrity, and so we have clients that on both sides of this fence, right? And I, I would say on the positive side, uh, we have a, we have a client that when they see something wrong at one of their locations and they know it's at risk or failure. They don't, they don't wait. They come to us and they say, hey, Justin, we know you all are the guys. This happened, right? And, and this is a situation that it's behind a store maybe, right? And we see a lot of these light poles and, and things of that nature that are never seen by us because they're behind the store or they're behind a fence and, and the risk of it hurting anyone is very small, but they still come to us. And they say, hey, Justin, we know it's a lower risk asset. You know, maybe the sign's a little bit shorter, but we want to come to you guys to fix it. We want to, we want to bring that to your forefront because we know there is still risk. And so we get a lot of those calls with one of our biggest retailers and they come to us all the time. And they, and in my opinion, they have a true want to fix their problems and they lean on us to do that and provide that solution. And in my opinion, that's a high integrity move on their part because on the opposite side, we do have, which I think I mentioned earlier, the low integrity side is when you tell me, you know, you have an issue, but you don't want to do anything about it. And you'd prefer us not tell you that you have that issue, right? It's the idea of not proving their 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 concern, right? It's <laughs> so no no we're just we're not ready for you guys yet, right? We're gonna push you down the road a couple of years and and that and it's it's you know for me it's it's an impact that is extremely negative one in my eyes to them but to their to their company, right? And it makes you think of is that all levels or is that just the person I'm talking to that mm-hmm. has that outlook, right? And and maybe they're spending a lot of their own in budget on other programs and they have that that pressure, right? But I think that's why even with this podcast, we got to reach everyone because some people are pressured into making a, a, a less integrity type conver- the, the decision where some other people have the opportunity to just say, hey, I'm going to do the right thing every time. Yep. Right? If that's going to cost me more money or, or make me go to the C-suite and have to, to beg and barter for this budget, um, I've seen both of that on the client side. 